you know, you're just sitting there with a the towel around you in the middle of the sauna going, it's not what it looks like. <laughs> This is super creepy. Oh my god. Westwood. So it's 11 a.m. I this is the last day of Sherlock Con. I just came out of the museum. I finally went to see the props, which was amazing. And this morning I was also at the panel with uh, Una Stubbs and Mark Gaddis, which was hilarious. But um, otherwise, I the next the next the next panel that I want to go to starts at two. So I'm going to leave now and then
do some other stuff and come back. I'm still at the convention center. I just went outside for a very quick chat. Um, I'm sitting in the sun because my hair is still wet. I washed my hair this morning, but I couldn't figure out how to turn on the hair dryer. I know, epic fail. But um, and plus, I didn't really care. It's super warm outside and it's 80 degrees humidity, so I don't really care. My hair will be wavy anyway. But I decided just to give you a very quick update. I um, I think I managed to pull my shoulder somehow, maybe from holding the camera, maybe from wearing my backpack on one shoulder all the time, and I'm actually holding the camera still with this hand, which is just unfortunate, but uh, let me change my hands. Um, so my right shoulder really hurts, it's much better right now, but I couldn't, like I had trouble falling asleep, even though finally I slept pretty well. Um, I had trouble falling asleep to find a comfortable position and then I woke up in the morning and my shoulder was really stiff so yeah it's not a fun fun thing to wake up to but otherwise I'm in good spirits and hopefully right now I will be able to go to another event so this is something that I recently just found out about but apparently there is a Los Angeles zine fest which is happening in downtown Los Angeles and I would like to go there since it's a free event and I haven't been to downtown of Los Angeles yet so I thought I might as well do both and since I have about three hours to kill that might just work out perfectly so that's about it and hopefully I'll see you in downtown I'm waiting for Uber and just thought I would show you my t-shirt which says uh, Sherlock uh, no Sherlock and what's on I hope you can see it that's one of my favorite t-shirts and that's the t-shirt for the last day of convention Okay, so I am in downtown LA and I just left the LA Zine Fest which was pretty amazing. However, I'm starving and it's closer to 1 p.m. so I need to get something to eat and probably head back to the convention. So it's gonna be a busy day. My hair is a complete mess, but um, I just got back to my hotel room and I managed to go to both downtown LA for a couple of hours and then I rushed and I was on time, which was amazing and I'm really thankful to that Uber driver who got me to Marriott on time. I was at the two o'clock panel with the creators of Sherlock, which was good. I really enjoyed it, it was fun, and then I thought about going and seeing some screenings, but honestly, I'm exhausted. So I'm back to my hotel just to have a bit of a rest, and then head back for 5 o'clock panel, that would be the last panel, the quiz for all the guests, and that's gonna be pretty amazing. Unfortunately, my shoulder still hurts, and uh, and then holding my cameras is kind of difficult but otherwise I'm having fun and I'm just going to rest for a bit have a bite and head back and welcome to the great Sherlock's quiz <laughs> we have got two amazing teams uh, we'll bring them out shortly they will be battling to the death in a variety of differing levels involving art, acting, 
general knowledge, knowledge of the show, and a variety of different things. But Mark, I see you brought your uh, lucky Big Ben with you. Right. I am mildly concerned at what's coming out now. <laughs> and playing against Team One today is Team Two. Owen Jones, Jonathan Harris, Andrew Scott, and Team Captain Stephen Moffat. Because I've just realised where I'm sitting. Jonathan Harris is going to have to read every single question. <laughs> I think I'll stand here for a bit. That might be a bit easier. Right. For the first round, um, do we have names for the team, Jeb? By the way, have you decided on names? Yes. We're called the London Particulars. <laughs> Could we do an impression? Grumpy. <laughs> Grumpy is unfortunately the wrong answer for <laughs> Sherlock. Never grimaces. He's always smiling. Do we have? Are you you had some of this side? Yes. He he arrived, if I remember rightly. From, he arrived from the from, right from the skies on a unicorn made of ice. <laughs> I will take that because it's close to helicopter. <laughs> Question four. Question four. Name another event that the Sherlock team run in the UK. <coughs> I'm afraid I can't take weddings, it's not on the list. Um, team 2, you have an open vote. <coughs> Louis, hang on, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Louis, I think your mum alarm just went off. I'm going to use your So yes, I'm, I'm going to stop there. He's colluding with that team at the moment, so I think it's, I'm going to let you answer. <coughs> oh, okay. You're still working out that team name. <laughs> Okay, right, right. Uh, I will offer it to Team 2 first. Team 2, do, do you have any of the other events? Some of you have been at them. <laughs> Comic Con? I won't take Comic Con. It's too general. general. I won't take Comic Con. It's a Doctor Who thing, and should I know about it? <laughs> Unfortunately, the answer I do have here is any film and Comic Con or Star Trek. <laughs> so. Unfortunately, weddings. <laughs> Question number five. Where is Massive Events based in the UK? In the UK. In the South. <laughs> so at the end of round one, I guess it proved a distinct lack of knowledge about the people who are organising this. I will pass that to our scorekeeper, please. Three to the London particulars, and one to the lives of children that have been. You sound so happy at <laughs> Dad's losing, I'm in trouble. Right, okay. Round two. Guess what it is? If they do not get it by the end of the Weird Jeopardy theme that we're playing, uh, the other team will get a chance to go for it. And the time starts now. Okay, it's very simple. 
give them the answers. <laughs> Jonathan. <laughs> For your amount of time it takes to do the answers. Well, it's good to see that the uh, permanent markers are on the right <laughs>
Is it a who in the French dance or do you think the team are going to be Names um, if a child, if, if a child's life depends on their victory. Um, I'm not the only child here. <laughs> what he's trying to say is basically, if if one of these teams loses, they lose. But if this team loses, he dies. <laughs> oh my God, it's like the last episode. <laughs>
I'd like to thank uh, to team. Listen, Lo Louis no longer really is, right? He's a man. <laughs> Hashtags turning up everywhere. <laughs> um, so before we finish, um, please give a massive warm thank you, a round of applause to our two teams. First off, team one, uh, no, yes, what's team one? Thank you, Gold Down. It's all your fault, Timothy. <laughs> to, to Mark Gates, to Unistar, to Alison Petrie, and to Tim Wilson. going to go um, to the pool party today it's supposed to be Moriarty's pool party but I'm not going that's why that's it for me um, that was an amazing experience and I'm super excited and I cannot wait to talk about it in more detail on my channel so far I've been just vlogging but I need to kind of put together all of my thoughts and do a proper video so thank you so much Olay it was amazing